All right, we're collecting our fish here, okay? And they're getting them all boxed up. You can see they have tons of ponds. Really excited. We have what I think is called a reverse shishui with its snow white pattern, a kiatsuri, and a beautiful kajaku. So they're bagging up our fish now. Love coming here. It's in, I mean, it's just beautiful. Tons of varieties of fish. And here's some of the ones we're bringing back with us right now. I don't know if you can see them. Here comes another one in the sock net. We're bringing it over. They take really good care of their fish. They make sure that you get a nice, healthy fish when you get home. Wow, that's, that one's gorgeous. That's my Kajaku that's coming. Really, really excited about this fish. You can see the scalation of it. Looking around here, I mean, this is another you know gorgeous pond they have. And you can see so many different varieties of koi that they have here at the farm. And this is just one of the greenhouses. I'm excited about these two as well coming back. I, I think that uh, the, the quality of the fish, the uniqueness of it, the size, um, just absolutely beautiful. Um, here in this Nisai pond, I'm just looking and it, it's beautiful. I mean, it's almost like they're just floating in the water. Um, you can't really get much more peaceful of a thing to watch, especially if uh, you need some time to relax. These guys are really, really amazing. Well, when you say Kuhaka Showa Sanke, I'm looking around here and I see some gorgeous specimens. You know, some really cool fish. If you're into koi, this would be a great place to come. They have Koi Fest coming up August 26th. If you're in the tri-state area, I'm telling you it'd be worthwhile just to stop by and see the different fish they have. Plus they have fun, exciting things for the kids to do. As we're looking over the different ponds they have, they're getting the other fish ready to get bagged up. So for those of you who don't know how a fish gets transported they fill the bag with oxygen and as they fill the bag with ox or I'm sorry they fill it with water then they put the fish in then they take it down to a station where they fill it with oxygen now depending on your ride like we have about an hour and 45 minute ride that will tell me how much uh, or tell them how much oxygen to put in but after they bag them up, they wrap them with rubber bands to make sure the bags don't open. And you can see three of our fish in here are already bagged up and ready to go. They're catching the other two fish now, which we'll be showing soon. And then we're gonna take our drive back. After we take our drive back, then we'll get the fish in there and we'll release them. So definitely a good, good question that a lot of my students ask me is, oh, how do they move fish from one place to another? And as you can see, they take really good care of their fish here and making sure everybody gets where they have to be. So stay tuned, click on the subscribe button, and I will uh, post a video when we let the koi out in our pond.